So based on this spread, you have two aces, okay? And aces always signifies new opportunities and new beginnings. So I feel like this is a very powerful week, despite the lack of major arcana cards that are coming out in this um, spread, um, in both of these spreads. This is going to be a very pivotal week for you for major breakthroughs when it comes to love and when it comes to work, finances, and career. So those are like the two areas that are heavily emphasized in this spread. Um, so let's talk, first of all, about your love sector. We have an air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra with the King of Swords. Um, this is somebody that you are dealing with romantically, or this is somebody that, you know, is interested in you. And I definitely feel like they're interested in you. Okay, so the, the Ace of Cups is in conjunction with them, isn't right next to them. So this might be somebody that's making an offer that you have not been aware of. Okay, so they're showing consistent interest. Um, there is a, a very strong professional energy with this person. So if we're looking at, you know, somebody that you're working with or dealing with on a romantic level um, and you both are not in a relationship, you're both single or you, you haven't really solidified a relationship with them, just know that they are making an offer. They're there. They're very consistent. And um, the problem with this is they're very cold, right? Uh, whenever we see this person as an energy, male or female, as an air sign, this is someone who's very strategic. They're very results oriented and uh, they don't really sit around and talk about their feelings. They're not going to tell you how beautiful you are. They're not going to tell you, wow, you did an amazing job with that project the other day. Their demeanor is almost distant. It's it's like communicative, but in a very platonic way. But the honest truth about air signs, and this is something that a lot of people get confused about, if an air sign interacts with you or seeks you out for conversation or they like to run ideas, bounce ideas off of you, or for whatever reason, they message you a lot, email you a lot, come to you a lot, or text you a lot, they're definitely interested. Air signs show their interest through their communication with you. So if they're not interacting with you, or if they ghost you, or if they... Um, if you're not getting the communication from them, it means they're disinterested. But if you are getting heavy communication, if they seek you out, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? They're definitely interested. So you have somebody here that you might not have been aware of how they feel because honestly, your method of expressing love and affection is going to be very different from this person. And it's really hard for the two of you to kind of broach the topic of, um, you know, hey, what are we? Are we friends? Are we just, you know, platonically hanging out? Are we dating? What's next? So I feel like you're not really sure about this person. You might not have been sure about their intentions for you. And um, as aloof and as distant as they are, I feel like if they're there to solve your problems, if they're there to seek you out for conversation, they're definitely uh, liking you, okay? So I feel like there's going to be some type of a gesture, an upping the ante coming in from this person uh, for this week. And it's really going to, you're no longer kept in the dark. You're no longer confused and like questioning and, and wondering they're going to make their intentions quite known and it's going to reveal to you how they feel about you. For some of you guys, I feel like the communication, there's a lot of holding back here. The Page of Swords, when I was shuffling, it came out in the, um, it like kind of fell out in the reverse and then I shuffled it and it came out in the upright position. So it denotes to me some type of a major communication breakthrough that will like an opportunity a communication breakthrough the timing wasn't right in the past but the timing is right now so something has shifted and it allowed the two of you to communicate with each other in a more meaningful way okay so 
um, what I sense as if this person might not have been I, I feel like this stalemate or some type of an impasse between you and the other person that you're dealing with and the walls have come down or there has been some type of a major breakthrough in communication that allows the two of you to see the situation for what it is, that there is a lot of love here and that there is a lot of caring and commitment and mutual reciprocity and it's really going to make you feel like you can trust this person. They're in the upright position, so it generally means uh, honesty, integrity, and somebody that is very um, dependable, okay? Like, they're there when you need them. They When they say they're going to do something, they follow through. And so from your end, I'm inclined to say, you know, are you able to give this person the full devotion because the ace of cups usually means all or nothing it's not a situation that you can dilly dally with it's not a situation where you're like one foot in one foot out and you're generally not the sign to do that because when you commit you know as a fixed sign when you commit it's for keeps but with the six of pentacles denoting earth energy in the reverse this is almost like um, spreading your time or spending your time with two options, okay? Giving your energy away and um, possibly through two avenues, two people, two romantic options, having a family and then having like a, a love, um, like a mister or a miss, missus on the side or a mistress on the side. And when it's in the reverse, it denotes to me as well obligations that you have to take care of before you can come to this person and accept what they have to offer. So I feel like there is a very straight-laced person in your life that you're dealing with. You want to be able to clear up your karma in order to be able to approach them and accept this new offer of love of commitment that they're giving you and I feel like they're very steadfast and um, clear about what they want it's just a matter of you wrapping up loose ends from your end in order for you to approach this in a more unencumbered in a more free um, state of mind to be able to get this off the ground okay uh, what I'm also feeling as well is um, I, I feel like there's a big sense of holding back, holding back on emotions, holding back on communication, holding back on investing in another person because both of you were mutually not sure about where you stand with each other and you're both not sure about the reciprocity. Do they feel the same way about me or am I putting more work in? The, eight, the, the Six of Pentacles is a lot about a helping hand. One person might be helping the other, you know, either behind the scenes or in a very, um, in a very clear way. So there is, there, there's a sense here of helping, 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 uh, helping the other person. And over time, it feels like they might approach you only when they need help. But I definitely feel that the helping solidify the way that they see about, uh, they see you and they see you as dependable. If they're the person that's helping you, then I feel like you see them as dependable. And as a result of it, the emotions and the love starts to grow because there's a lot of respect that they have for you or you have for them. So whoever is doing the helping behind the scenes is finally they're they're showing their love through practical applications through you know a very concrete way of offering you assistance okay um if for, for those of you who are in you know stable relationships i feel almost like there is a uh, revival of the love um, better communication uh, better opportunities for you to reconnect with your relationship partner and even better opportunities for you to solidify that bond. The Ace of Cups is a very, very, very good love card and I'm really glad it's falling out for you guys in the love department. But you might not have a partner that expresses love in the same way that you do. And so the way they express love is communication, assistance. And so you know, be um, 
be aware of what's coming in. Be aware of how other people show you their love. It might be different from what you're used to or what you would expect, but nevertheless, it is there. Okay, so you have some really beautiful energy, Taurus. In uh, your financial life, uh, King of Pentacles, this is a really good, solid finance card okay and you have the ace of pentacles which even denotes another opportunities that's on the table for you for promotions for a new job for career advancement and i feel like it's coming in after a long period of waiting it might be four weeks four months and this is finally emerging when you are ready so whatever you were dealing with before you might have done research you might have you know looked all over for the right opportunities and then when you're looking for the opportunities and you're just like okay I've already done I've already you know sent myself out to the universe now I'm just gonna focus on the the present enjoy the work that I do try to master my craft try to be thankful for this job that I have and the co-workers and the the opportunity for me to learn to grow in my sense of compassion and to grow in a practical way and master the work that I'm doing. So because of this energy where, you know, you're comfortable and secure in the here and now, energetically, you're able to attract and manifest new opportunities that will allow you to grow past this King of Pentacles phase into a new career path or into a new um a new offer for a career or a new job or new promotions. So really beautiful things are breaking through for you guys for this week. And uh, funnily enough, you know, a lot of signs had, well, the, the, the Mercury retrograde period last, uh, last month was very problematic for a lot of people not just the air signs, but like for a lot of earth signs, I feel like you really had to re-examine, you know, um, what you're doing and whether or not it's in alignment with your passion and your values. And I feel like for Capricorns, they might have had like a change of heart when it comes to their career. For you guys, now that we are emerging into the, the, the uh, time of Virgo, Things are starting to be a lot more stable. You're looking at situations more sensibly. You're looking at love relationships in a more pragmatic manner. You're looking as well at your life in a little bit more of a practical manner and appreciating everything that you have and coming into this sense of um, abundance and blessing and really, really looking at and taking stock. And because of that, you're able to draw, because we appreciate where we are, we're able to draw on, uh, draw good things to us. Okay, so you have some really good things here. Uh, in the work front, we have here a, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I feel like this is a mentor energy. Somebody that is very soft, their energy is really supportive, very inspiring, and they kind of give you a gentle nudge behind the scenes as to how you can better yourself. And then at the same time, we have an earth sign, another earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Somebody that I honestly feel this is romantic attraction as well on the love front. Somebody's making an offer and you're not really sure if you should dabble in it because it might be workplace related, okay? So you have some good things. You have, uh, for those who are singles, options left and right, three kings showing up in this spread, which means there's somebody outside of work, there's somebody at work, and so you have a lot of options that you're choosing from, okay? I don't like to blend the two spreads, but I feel like the aces are here and the three kings are here. So you're in really good hands, okay? You're going to be seen as a powerful figure. You're going to be seen as somebody that is a major player and is in charge of your own destiny, okay? Really happy to see this for you guys and uh, I wish you all the best, okay?